Houston's gone one and two from long range in the first quarter. Screen by Jones. There's a good screen. Screen by Jones. Beverly wide open. That one's off. Still out of sync. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Calderon against Barbosa. Now here's Calderon. Not a lot of room. Shot is off. And the Rockets take it the other way. Everly with the ball. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. And there's Eric Gordon on the assist by Calderon. And the Knicks lead by seven. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. Odi Unis a screen on Calderon. Here's Beverly. The open shot by Brewer. Nails the wide open jump shot. And turning down what would have been a tough shot for himself into an easy one for his teammate. The Knicks leading by five. Outside Gordon. Over in the corner, Williams from past the arc. It's hauled in by Beverly. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. The Rockets have gone two for two in the game at the line. One falls for him. Roten's checked in for Jose Calderon. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Knicks leading by three. One twenty-nine left to play here in the first. Goes up off the pick, and it's Roten finishing it off. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing, and right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. You know what? They just are in a funk right now offensively. A good time to maybe come and come up with a play to get them a good look. Well, most coaches, you know, usually have a, a go-to speech or tactic that they can um, use when they need it most. So we'll see if that's the case here. Fifteen left here in the first quarter. Jones in the post. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's a screen. Now here's Roten. On the wing, Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. No good from 18. 
and he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Screen by Jones. Everly. Nice teamwork to set up the big play and make the space for the J. It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. And here is Rote. Deep. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's Barbosa. And it's Brewer finishing it off. Make it two hands for safety. That's what they say, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. You got it. And he was ultra safe with that dunk. No reason not and, to be. And guys, as he should be, remove all doubt on that attack. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Knicks lead by one. And we'll be back with you right after this. Coach Kevin McHale doing well in Houston. He, he certainly has a fan in his shooting guard, James Harden. Well, there's, there's no doubt there's great respect that Harden is showing for Coach Kevin McHale, which is what you need sometimes as a coach. You've got to command that respect from your players. You know, it, it's kind of like a honeymoon period. You know, when it's clicking, it's like magic, and you just try to keep it going. But it all comes down to the coach listening, sharing, and taking the players' input seriously. Kevin has that instinct, having been around so many great teams. And thanks for tuning in as we get back to the action of our broadcast here of Game 6. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? They've won the effort battle, and, and that's allowed them to control the backboard. And it's been gang rebounds. I mean, everybody has done a great job boxing out for them, and it's showing up on the stat sheet. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets starting the second. We've got Patrick Beverly. Monty Unis up there with Corey Brewer. Then it's Jones, and it's Barbosa in at the two guard. For the Knicks, Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Derek Williams. Hawkins comes in for Aaron Aflalo. And Sessions subbed in for Gordon. And then for Houston, Dwight Howard. He's checked in for Monte Yunus. Pisa comes in for Corey Brewer. And it's James Harden in for Leandro Barbosa. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Beverly up top is covered by Sessions. Another miss by Houston. They've been strong on the boards. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says, but still anybody's game. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Third is Carmelo Anthony. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff right, performer. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. D.J. Augustine's checked in for Houston. He's off on the second. Rockets have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Beverly dishes to Augustine. Harden outside. 
with the shot from out on the wing he knocks it down Harden's got it all tied up now for Houston the next shooting struggles apparent 37 percent from the field and Sessions kicks to Hawkins feeds it to Sanders screen by Sanders here's Hawkins and the layup's good off the glass Hawkins has got eight you can't afford to get him that kind of a look well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Harden against Hawkins. Pass to Augustine, and stolen by Roten. And they're pushing it up. And it's Sanders, top of the key. Screen by Sanders. Another shot, and the jumper is on the mark. He's got 10. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Set on that shot. With that, the Nick lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from James Harden. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. In the corner at session. Shot clock at six. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Houston. The mechanics totally out of whack right now. He's lost his feel for the shot. Yeah, he really has. I mean, just totally out of sync. I mean, you can just see it in the numbers. Nothing going down for him right now. And Augustine kicks to Harden. 18 feet out. And good. Coming in on the assist by D.J. Augustine. Augustine's got his fourth assist in this one. switch here. Calderon's checked in and a switch here also for Houston. Corey Brewer's checked in for Patrick Beverly. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, Sessions passes to Sanders and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Calderon against Harden. Here's Ariza. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. The Knicks have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Here's Sessions. No dice from nine feet out. He still hasn't been able to convert from the field. He's just struggling to find his shot. Zinkis is checked in for New York. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Kicks to Brewer. Augustine against Calderon. Inside. It's picked off. Augustine against Sessions. Passes it to Calderon. The dish to Sessions. Six on the shot clock. Anthony drives in, powered down with both hands. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Screen by Jones. 